Let there be light. What's happening, guys? So, today is Sunday the 11th. Just spent most of this last week in Omaha at the Farmer to Farmer Conference. It was a good time. Met a couple people that actually follow this channel. Thanks, guys. Uh, got to hang out with the real farm tubers, which is pretty awesome. But now we're back to reality. And reality kind of sucks right now. So the last video I showed you, this door was open. They were working on the inside. And we thought we were going to be able to leave everything alone. But then Bart got doing some investigating. And that arm on this shaft, there was way too much play. So we ordered an arm, put it on, shaft is ruined. And when I say ruin, I'm talking tenths, if not hundredths of an inch of too much movement. It's that minute. But then it becomes a deal of, all right, we've already stripped this whole thing down. There's the gearbox over there. While you're here, you might as well change out bearings, fix everything. Because as you can see, if you have a problem during harvest, this is a massive problem. So with the old 7,000 machines that we had a couple years ago, you'd go through all this every year. You would rebuild that gearbox, which on that machine was on this side, because this gearbox was the giant hunk of metal that sat right here. But you would rebuild that gearbox every year. Seals, check all the, all the gears in there, make sure there was no damage whatsoever, because it was a problem area. You'd redo bearings, everything. These machines, you don't have to do it that often. But when you do, it's, it's, it's a process. So that's where we stand on this. Nothing else has changed. You know, everything's still fell apart in there. The guys weren't able to get a whole lot of work done in here last week, just between people being gone and different projects we got going on. There wasn't a whole lot done. I mean, I might be looking at this behemoth and not even know what it is. This is our tub grinder. Um, I've never done a video with it because I'm never the guy with it, but maybe tomorrow I will be and I'll get a video. Looks like you got hot on the end. I don't know. Either way, this is in here because it is a cold-blooded son of a gun. So the engine in this thing, I believe I've told you before, is a Liebherr 24 liter V12 engine. Which means, if you split it by each cylinder head, broke it into 12 different engines, this engine pieces would still be bigger than most smaller cars at two liters. Yeah, 24 liter. This guy, on the other hand, has a C27, 27 liter cat engine. And she starts hard. I mean, if it's 50 degrees out, it does not want to start. So we pulled it in here the other day. We got a bunch of grinding to do tomorrow. Had one neighbor call Saturday morning, said, hey, as soon as you can get here. So we're gonna go knock him out first thing tomorrow morning. Got another neighbor that needs hay ground. They just ground for us Thursday or Friday when I was coming home, one of the two. But yeah, that's, that's really all I have for you today. It was a fun week in Omaha, back to reality. And unfortunately, reality this time of year kind of sucks because, you know, winter just isn't that fun. But winter out here on the plains really sucks because it means two things. Cold temperatures, eh, whatever, you get over it. The thing that really sucks, though, is constant cold fronts moving through, which means wind. Ten days ago... We had a dust bowl roll through. I'm sure a lot of you have seen pictures online and stuff. It was not pleasant. 70, was it 70 plus mile an hour winds here that day? Um, was it Thursday? So four days ago, I think the wind was in the 30s. I just looked a minute ago because I got a weather alert on my phone. In the next five days, four of those days are saying gusts over 40. So, yeah, this sucks. 
But either way, we've got a few things going on. Hay grinding, we're working on filling sprinkler tracks. The disc ripper's been going, so I'm going to try and get a couple videos in the next week or two for you guys. Because I know I haven't had a whole lot lately, but that just kind of comes with the territory of winter. But I wanted to make a video real quick to show you this thing all tore apart. So there's there's what happens when you got to tear into the front rolls. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you later.